the building of the new paradigm, the redemption of the human spirit. Just pray. That, after all, is what it's really all about. The energy, the energy, the energy is out there. It's out there for you to have. For you to have. What happens to us in altered states of consciousness. I have arrived at some personal opinions about these mysteries through my research and through my, my own exploration. Just pray, just pray, just pray. What the altered states of consciousness seem to allow us to realize is that there may be other realms, perhaps non-physical realms, in which we may have experiences and encounters and a direct connection to another level of reality. There are these electromagnetic waves that are in the air around us. And, and what's uh, seemingly unbelievable with this portable technology is that I can go online and pull out of thin air information about more or less any subject. And that's called the internet. But uh, that's simply what shamans are proposing in their own fashion with modification of consciousness. And, you know, they pull out of thin air information about more or less any subject. It's completely magic. It's an uh, unbelievable resource. And, uh, you know, uh, interesting. I think there's some kind of message. So there's a, a secret doorway inside our minds that through which we may project our consciousness into another realm and encounter that realm and experience it directly. To me, that's a very attractive idea and it, and it fits very, very closely with my own experiences. So we are finding ways out of the three-dimensional Newtonian prison says, you know, life is narrow and confined and ends at the grave. Just pray, just pray, just pray. What is fascinating about this particular transition is that we are conscious of the implications. Obviously, we're on the brink of building computer-assisted worlds that don't quote-unquote, really exist, but in which we will experience the way we experience dreams or the imagination. And I think this is where psychedelic substances come in. Albert Hoffman's discovery of LSD demonstrated that that is accessible to most people, a non-physical realm of information. Transformation is the psychedelic experience. It gets you used to the idea that the world is not what it appears to be, and it gets you used to the idea that the world is somehow animate, intelligent, and proceeding along its own agenda. Just pray, just pray. Every one of us, when we go into the psychedelic state, this is what we should be looking for. You are an explorer, and you represent our species. And the greatest good you can do is to bring back a new idea, because our world is endangered by the absence of good ideas. Our world is in crisis because of the absence of consciousness. Just pray. any one of us 
us can bring back a small piece of the picture and contribute it to the building of the new paradigm, then we participate in the redemption of the human spirit. And that, after all, is what it's really all about. The energy, the energy, the energy is out there.